Hey guys, what's going on? Jesse here. Just doing a quick video today just to review my two Crane and Pacer classics that I've got. Uh, so let's get stuck into it. <laughs> So we'll start off with this one. So this white one's the first one I bought back in 2013. I got this for, I think it was a bit less than $400 Australian, which is an awesome deal. And yeah, it's just just a bitching guitar, as Satchel would say. I uh, haven't, haven't changed anything on it. The only thing I have done is, uh, on both of them, I stripped the neck down. I, I sanded the back of the neck, just got a bit of sandpaper, I sanded it down to the bare wood. And on the fretboard, uh, got all the, the finish off the fretboard too. Just with a, I used a razor blade in between the frets just to scrape it off uh, down to the bare wood. Uh, I left it like that for a little while, and then I went back and I coated this one with some wipe-on poly stuff. I think it was min wax from memory. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I haven't changed. Pickups are just the standard Kramers. The standard Kramer tremolo. I uh, put the drop D uh, D tuner on it as well. But apart from that, that's it. Exactly as I got it. Uh, two volume tone, three way toggle. It's all the same. I just put the stickers on. Um, yeah, high voltage sticker on the back. For good measure. And yeah, it's just just an awesome guitar. It's just a shred machine. Super flat fretboard. Great for the uh, great for big bends and you know really fast playing. You can get a, a fairly low action with this really flat sort of fretboard. Yeah, I, I just I love it. I play this all the time. I play it every day. Uh, so this black one was the second one I got. I got this. Uh, when they went on, they went on sale at Billy Hyde's here in Australia. <clears throat> Pardon me. So I bought a second one, and this one, this one is really heavy. I don't know, it's a fair bit heavier than the white one for some reason, but it's it feels like a Les Paul. Like it's just really the body is just super solid piece of mahogany. Uh, what I've done with this one is I put a, a JB, same one up in JB in the bridge here. Uh, got my D tuner on this one as well. On both my guitars, I've got the, the tremolo sitting flat on the deck, so you can only go down. Uh, I just I like it that way. I don't really pull up on, on the tremolo anyway, so I just leave it flat, and then you can use your D tuner as well. Yeah, same thing on this one. I, I sanded the neck uh, totally down to the wood. And I just left it there for ages. Um, I did actually go back and put some oil on the neck on this one. I can't remember exactly what the oil was. I think it might have been Danish oil, but I, I can't remember. You might be able to see on the camera. The fretboard is quite dirty and worn in and just feels awesome. Taking the finish off the neck is just awesome, makes it play really great. It just feels so good to play. Uh, everything else is stock, the neck pickups are stock. Same, the Kramer one that came in it. I think I've disconnected the tone knob on this one too, just because I never use it, so I just disconnected it in case I ever roll it down or whatever. But Volume and tone, same. Uh, just put these chrome knobs on it. Just something to do. And I've got the stickers everywhere, obviously. Sticker on the back. It's just a bitchin' shred machine. I love this guitar, I play it every day. I uh, play it at every single gig, it's just my workhorse, as you can see it's getting a bit knocked about, but it just feels so awesome. And 
yeah, so this one, my white one here is E standard tuning, and this one's E flat. So this is all my old Van Halen, Steel Panther, all that kind of shit. And this one's E standard, so everything else. Like I said, I've had them for two years, so I've had a bit of a chance to test them out. And yeah, they're just, they're just awesome guitars. And you know, super cheap too, like less than $400 I think they were when I bought them. Australia. <laughs> That wraps it up, I guess. Um, yeah, that's just my experience with my two basic classics. I love them. I think they're awesome. Uh, if you haven't played one, there's. Uh, I know in Australia they're a little bit hard to come by. I think Billy Hyde's or Allen's has them still. <laughs> yeah, I definitely recommend you check them out because they're great. And, you know, they're good for. Uh, good platform to, to upgrade to if you're into that sort of thing, you know, swapping out pickups and put the original Floyd Rose on there and all that if you want. That'll about do it. So yeah, check them out if you can and um, yeah, rock on.